Hi folks, welcome back to another video and this time it's a Land Rover Defender. I've been a little bit lazy with these videos, I know I keep saying it, but I reckon we've probably put together around about 150 defenders, defenders this year and I've probably videoed five of them, so that's not great. I apologise because I know that um, a lot of you enjoy these videos and we get a lot of feedback about the videos too, so they do help hopefully guide you through the process of choosing your modifications, getting an idea of what they look like, how stuff works together and so on and so forth. So this build has been, it's currently December 22 by the way, just a couple of days before Christmas so we've got two more days, tomorrow we're going to paint the workshop floor like we do every year and then we're going to finish up for Christmas so that we're all looking forward to because we've worked hard. So this is a 300 TDI, um, it's been with us about three weeks, uh, we've done an awful lot of work to it. Came, for it, came to us looking pretty sorry for itself, it's had some mechanical work done elsewhere, so it's had new suspension, bits and pieces, and it's come to us for the usual sort of cosmetics, electrical, interior, comfort, all that kind of stuff that we really specialise in. So externally we've added the flat dog roof rack, so that's a terrific roof rack. This new iPhone 14 Pro is hopeless, it takes ages to focus. It's really rubbish, I don't recommend it. Um, so we've gone with a flat dog roof rack up here. Um, it's aluminium, it's nice and low profile, which I like. Um, we've mounted a triple R, there you go, look, no focus again, a triple R24 on that, so that's a laser light, comes with a five year warranty. I could tell you how many lumens it produces, but the truth is I don't know without looking at the website. It's a lot, it's really powerful. So if you shot it over there, you would see a lot further than those trees. Probably set those trees on fire, in fact, if we pointed it over there right now. That's how powerful it is. Um, that's been set normally to work from the full beam, but actually this customer specified he wanted a separate switch for it, so that's what we've done. Everything we do electrically is, of course, bespoke, so if a customer wants something doing differently, then we do that. Um, we've added the optimal hinges, arguably the best on the market. We really like them. So front door hinges, rear door hinges, the bonnet hinges. Um, we've added a... D44 front bumper, so this is our front bumper which we prefer. It's really good, it's heavy duty, it's made by Devon Ford before, it's powder coated. Um, and we install in there a RRR 750 spotlight, which is also a DRL, so it gives you a lovely, lovely driving light as well as a full beam light when you engage your full beams. Um, we haven't done much else with the exterior of the vehicle, I don't think. Um, oh, we've added a couple of rear work lights. No focus again, look, very slow, rubbish. Um, they are utility 45s, so laser makes several different work lights, but utility 45s are generally the more powerful work light. They're doing a utility 45, I think it's called an ultra or plus, which is even more powerful. And in the center there, we've got the rear view camera. It's engaged when you put the car in reverse. We've added the ladder as well. If we just get into the back here, let's have a look, we can show you what we've done. So we have gone for the custom rubber liner and underneath the rubber liner we've got multiple layers of soundproofing so we've got a four mil product on there then we've got a six mil foam and actually we've got a 10 mil foam on these arches and then six mil down the bottom here we've added new recovery um recovery hooks we've added new um tie down eyes so it's an extreme amount of soundproofing that's taken case, care of place in there. Um, there's a CP108 subwoofer, just sits in the back there, and again, it was wanted to be easily removable, so we've rivnutted some uh, straps in there and they can be easily undone to get it out. Uh, the water window surrounds were gray and quite heavily damaged in here, so what we've done is we have smart repaired all of those and then we've recolor coded them in a silky black. So I think you'd have to agree they look really good. Um, managed to reuse and save all these old panels. Got a little bit of soundproofing on the back of them to make them feel nice and sturdy. We've gone for an Alcantara headlining. So full Alcantara headlining from front to back. We've retrimmed um, the rear seats. So they have been retrimmed to match the side parts of the Recaros in the front. They were done by B trim and Enfield. They're very good. Come around the side here and we can take a look at the carpets and the stainless steel finishes. And this section here has all been soundproofed. These brackets were all very rusty, so we've uh, shot all them down, then we've treated them with a rust proofer and repainted them all. Loads of time taking in little bits like that, you know, trying to refurb all the brackets as best we can. We've replaced all the nuts and bolts with stainless steel fixings everywhere that we can get to and everywhere we can replace it. We've trimmed all this section here. Um, stainless steel fixings there to tidy everything back up. We've added the Recaros. Oh, we've added uh, Napa rear door cards. Lovely, lovely lever work there. 
all done by B-Trim. Kept the original handles, etc. Optimal hinges. Recaro's up front. These are lovely. I love the Recaro's. As you'll know if you follow the videos, because I keep going on about it. We've redone all of the trim in black, so we've changed it all from grey to black, and as I said, smart repaired everything. So I've got the Recaro's in the front here, and they are heated. Um, because it's the early style dash, um, there's nowhere really for the heated switches, so we put the heated two two stage heated seat switches down here, the dual USB here. Let's turn on the ignition. And we've gone for a floating screen in this, so this is the Alpine Halo. Oh, come into focus, look at that, that's beautiful. That's a nine inch screen. We do a bigger one, but it would have been overbearing in here. So we've got full Apple CarPlay here, Android Auto, DAB, Bluetooth, USB, everything you could want. I think in this dash, this works exceptionally well. And I think actually moving forward, that will be the screen that I will be promoting and recommending. Um, oh, if I lose, go to the Apple CarPlay, I don't want to lose my video. No, I haven't. So there you go, we're in Apple CarPlay. It's Tidal, that's what I've been listening to. It's wireless, as you can see. <laughs> We've gone for Ultimate Audio in here. So Ultimate Audio gives us the Focal tweeters in the top of the dash, the Focal mids in the bottom of the dash, because it's a 300 TDI. You have to make a spacer, but you can see we've trimmed that in a vinyl that almost perfectly matches the dash. All that attention to detail. And we've got the woofers in the front of the seat box there. We've carpeted all of this. And you've got the stainless steel finishers, the floor mats. We've done a huge amount of soundproofing in here and replaced all of the carpets and the high-rise cubby. There's another little look at the rears trimmed in leather. Back lights, back speakers in the back there, Alcantara headliner. Wow, this is a nice place to be now. It's a complete, complete, complete transformation of where we were before. It's been quite a reasonable size build. Um, it's 20K plus, I think we've spent in here. Um, my interest is, you know, this is done for a gent in the forces, so, there is a VAT free scheme, so with a little bit of paperwork, you can actually have this work done without any VAT. Without any VAT. Uh, it's on an American airbase. So for all your guys there down at Lake and Heath and stuff, you want your defenders doing, you don't want to pay the VAT, there is a way around it. So there you go, that kind of summarizes the build. Really happy with it. Customer will be picking it up in a little while next hour actually so hopefully he will be equally happy with everything we've done um, as always the attention to detail i think is second to none we really really have spent an awful lot of time on this way more time than we ever comprehended spending on it and in fact way more time than we've charged for but that's because we want to get it right and i think that's what we've done so there you go if you enjoyed the defender video we'll be releasing a few over christmas because I'll try, I'm going to try, I've got two more in the workshop now being finished. I'm going to try and get those video today and uh, post them over Christmas. So there you go, folks. Happy Christmas. Don't forget to follow us, Audio File In Car. Don't forget to give the video a like if you've enjoyed it, but subscribing is, of course, the most important thing. Happy holidays.